Did you know that those sudden life-changing decisions are not sudden at all, but often years in the making? My name is Gerdy Verboert, their Greatly Guiding Coach, and I want to talk to you about sudden life-changing decisions. Earlier this week I was talking with some people who at some point said they admired me greatly because I was making these life-changing decisions and actually acting upon it and I was doing it with speed. It's not the word I use, we can't remember what they said exactly. But anyways, you know, I was acting upon it almost immediately. I had to explain to them that those life-changing decisions that they saw me making were years in the making. And I want to take this opportunity to briefly explain my biggest life-changing decision so far, or at least the one that I consider to be the biggest life-changing one. And that is my move from the Netherlands to Austria. So about 16, 17 years ago, I was going through a really heavy burnout. I was coming back from a heavy burnout. And coming back from it, I knew I had to change something. I really had to change something about the way I was living my life. I could not return to a life where I was unhappy because I was working in a corporate career that didn't bring me any joy. I was doing something that I was good at, but I didn't like doing it and I was spending most of my life doing it. No wonder I was ending up, I ended up in a burnout. So when the company I was working for was reorganizing, for me that was the kick in the butt I needed to change, to make the first dramatic change. I left the company and I decided to go freelance. Because during my burnout I had figured out at least a couple of things. I knew I wanted to spend way more time in nature because I had found out that I need to be able to move and I need a lot of fresh air. And I also had found out for myself I am not going to spend the second half of my career doing something that I really don't like. So when the opportunity arose, when that kick in the butt finally happened, I left the company and started to freelance. I stayed in the kind of work that I had done in corporate, but now at least I had more control over how much time I spent doing it. Around that same time, I went to Austria on holiday. I had never been on a hiking holiday in the mountains before, but it was meant to be. Because in, on that holiday, I found something that I had never, ever found before. It was almost as though my body and my spirit sighed a very deep sigh of relief thinking oh my god she's finally taken us to a place where we belong. I felt in every cell and in every bone of my body that I was doing something that I was meant to do, that I was moving through surroundings where I was meant to be. It was almost as though I had done this all my life and perhaps even life's past. So I returned to the Netherlands after that vacation and knew that I would move to Austria at some point in my life. And it wasn't that so much Austria, but it was the mountains that I wanted to live in. Could have been anywhere, ended up being Austria. The next couple of years I used to figure out what is it that I can do to provide for myself once I live in Austria, because I wasn't going to move to Austria and then do the same thing again. So I sort of figured it out. And then came the moment where, again, I knew with every cell in my body, it was time to decide. And the decision I, ma I made was, I'm going, I'm selling my house and moving to Austria. Now from the outside looking in, People who didn't know me really, really well thought that this was a sudden decision. I all of a sudden decided I'm moving to Austria and I'm going. They hadn't seen that 
process of at least six, seven and even more years that it took me to get to from the point where I was like, I need to change something in my life. I have to stop doing what it is that I'm doing. If only I knew what it was that I really want to do to that moment where I was like, OK, I know what I want to do in as far that I know that I want to live and work among mountains. I moved to Austria started a small business taking care of other people's properties but most importantly I became a mountain hiking guide I love being a mountain hiking guide I love combining it with coaching I had found that I could deal with the uncertainty of not knowing where my paycheck was coming from um, I've worked as a cab driver here in Austria I have worked and still work as a ski instructor, which is something else that I really love to do. And ski instructing and hiking are two things that I love to combine with coaching as well. So that sudden, that sudden life-changing decision that I made was a sudden decision 10 years in the making or thereabouts. And I know from talking with other people who have made life-changing decisions that for them too, it is a process of years. There's very few people that decide today and, move and change everything about their life tomorrow. I haven't met any and there's a lot of people around here that um, like me have made life-changing decisions and move through a different to a different country are doing things that are completely different from what they've been doing in their old life so when you would like to change things about your life even when they're not as drastic they don't have to be as drastic as moving from one country to the next and leaving behind your corporate career. When you want to make changes in your life, perhaps it is because you want to live your best life. Perhaps you want, it is because you want to figure out what does your best life look like, like, what does your best life look like, what does it look like when you're living your purpose. Those are changes that don't have to be drastic. Those are changes that you can make in small steps. It just takes time to figure out what that looks like. For me, I found out my purpose in life is to, I like to say, playfully guide people into the mountains, into nature, to reconnect them with themselves to reconnect them with themselves through reconnecting them with nature so that they can live their best lives and be the leaders we need to create a better world. When we live our best lives, when we live our purpose, we lead by example and in doing so, we cannot help but inspire others to start doing the same. So stop looking at other people's sudden life-changing decisions and think I would never be able to do that. First of all, those sudden life-changing decisions don't have to be as big as some of those decisions are. And second of all, it takes time to get to, to the place where you can make that decision. And a side note, it's never too late. As always, go there greatly. <laughs>